Can we even call it back this one? No, just the beginning. You don't got the fake parts still. Okay. Right, so I think. That's it. I already watched most of that with this one. So what's the thing that really not with? Um, I'd like to, you know, get to get my wheels turned. Oh, the text? Off. The text works? Because it's iMessage over Wi-Fi. What does it come in under? Oh, the email. I'm about to hit that 20k. I'll be here the fuck first. We're live. Don't worry. Nobody, but I'm just saying it's going to start recording. Thank you. There are times in your life. Alright. We are going in and I have now. Come out the light. And the burdens are heavy. Oh, joy and joy. I wish I could sing. I can't though. What's the thing that you want to do that you can't? Sing. <laughs> but you got you gotta seem decent singing. I wish I could sing and play sousaphone. <laughs> Sousaphone's such a random instrument. <laughs> I just wait for some people to pop in. <clears throat> Do I look fat in the shot? I cut shot. your entire lower half of your chest out, so. I'm gonna say something about that too. So please talk about it. You know, you better fire somebody. You either fire somebody or hire somebody. You know, the feet go up. You ever been fired from a job, Ken? I'm fired. I actually been fired from every job. Oh, that was fun. Look at Josh. Mr. Big Shot. Hey, man. You see the chair? Yeah, you see it. You see the wood grain? Wood I got grain, my feet on seat. it. Window so dark, you need a flashlight to see me. <laughs> How many people was in there? Oh, uh, we got 50. 50? Yeah. <laughs> Today, man, my days are so... It does. It feels like it feels anything like Sunday. but it's Saturday. It does not. It feels like Saturday to you. It feels it like a weekend. Feel like Saturday to you. All these days feel like. All right, what up, y'all? Welcome, welcome, welcome. Got a lot of like that. Mm-hmm. <laughs> Why are you saying this? You look great. <laughs> this live is just confirmation that I can stop cleaning. Yes, you can. All right. You ready? What up, y'all? Welcome to another episode of Righteous and Ratchet, and we're gonna start it off to the right. Righteous and ratchet and righteous and ratchet and righteous. You see the ice on the neck. Hey, Kev on stage. Oh, it's your boy, dope boy. <laughs> that was a funny thing that we did. You got the ice on the neck. You know what I'm saying? The little homie wants to be like Big Breath. So I said, man, you can shot it. I heard you hurt your elbow and you banged it. Ah, I put some yeah, ice on it. That's what he did. It feels great. And you know what the inherent problem is? <laughs> I never voted. 548 days of Zip Riding shout out to me. 549. 549. I know the thought of it's egregious. <laughs> this is egregious. And you know what? My car I once had never had doors. <laughs> feel bad for me, Dillboy. boy. Tell me, I'm silly. Tell me you don't feel much more powerful oh, than Joel's on. Powerful. Yeah. I mean, my neck, yeah. I, I had a neck pain earlier. Yeah, let's go, man. That was great. So, I mean, we are in the great city of St. Louis. No? Is it great? Great city? <laughs> <laughs> it, it was hot in the restaurant. Oh, uh, we went to Salt and Smoke yeah. uh, restaurant here in St. Louis. Yeah. We actually got a be out of here in like an hour. We got a show in exactly an hour and a half. I'll be on stage performing. Yeah. But did we forget about you? No. Oh no. no. Did we drive straight here from Chicago four and a half hours? Oh, no. Eat and then run and shoot this bonus episode. Oh, yeah. I didn't do anything, but I think they get your point. We walked <laughs> briskly. Psycho. <laughs> <laughs> we did not want you to miss out, and we don't know what tomorrow holds. I'm never like waiting till Sunday. You just never. I know tried. To, I tried to get you to do it. You're like, no, that's like let's wait till Sunday. That's game yeah. seven of the week. You just never not, know, yeah. man. And I just we, we had anything could happen. We had to. I had Before it. we go any further, I want to put your uh, prodigy. Your uh, your 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 number one man, Joshy Gons on blast. Oh, so we are what? We go. Oh, we're gonna talk about it. Somebody was in Josh. the Patreon. Hold on, let me. Josh. <laughs> Jesus. <laughs> Josh, wait. Hold on, hold on, hold on. 
Go ahead, go okay, ahead. Okay, all right. So Josh, Josh, okay, first off, it's my little brother, so whenever I say things, it's in love with him. But I had to pull his card on this. Josh <laughs> is the producer of Righteous and Ratchet. So, you know, while we have to talk, and we did give him a mic, and sometimes I want to take it away from him. It was your idea. Josh, Josh's only function <laughs> while we're shooting is to make sure we look okay. First of all. If there's, hold on, hold on. If there's something in our nose, in our hair, <laughs> all you got to do outside of, you know, contribute witty banter is make sure we don't look crazy. Last episode, I had all of this. Oh, just chilling oh, the whole episode from like nine minutes in <laughs> someone the said the fat the whole episode he was like oh man I thought it was the chair it the looked, chair looks like a stomach it took a shot like the chair arm and also no. don't boy, you didn't feel the breeze no. if you got that much skin out you don't feel the air cameraman Joshua how do you not see this you see this <laughs> I'm like okay well, it has to go away I fast forward in 40 minutes and it was like he was just screaming at me the whole time. Like, ah, <laughs> you ain't been working out. <laughs> and just so many like you. Look, oh, everybody's, everybody's saying that they didn't even notice. No, not not notice go that. back to the last There's video. There's four comments on the side. It's just, and it really motivated me to lose weight. Like, I, as mad as I can be at him, why was it just out there just like, yeah? <laughs> <laughs> like, it was posing for an outcome. And so, Josh, let my... But, but be out the whole ah, episode. Do nickname alert, Mary J. Thighs. <laughs> <laughs> that was great. So, yeah, so let's just make sure that all of You're my... You're a hip station. You called me hip station. You were... Hey, you were... flip it on me. You were protruding. Oh, it was like a mess. I was just like, what have I been doing I in the gym? There. The whole episode from like nine minutes... And the messed up part was I had sat up and it kind of went away. And then I sat back down and it was like, yeah. <laughs> So on the R&B tip. Like, what is my love handles on the R&B tip? So shout out to Josh for making me look like a fool. And oh, my exercise. Somebody that. was so mad at Josh. In the oh, conference. they was I can't what find it. What did they it, say? Man. You hear about it? Hold on. Oh, it was in the one where they gave the suggestions for the bonus episodes. Yeah, I'm going gonna, I'm gonna to leave Whoa, it in They came. They, they, was, word? they didn't know I like it. You ah, man. Man. I don't even be in the comments. Uh, so take it away from Josh. Go down. down. Shut oh, you haven't seen this? Oh, what? No, yeah. I don't. I don't look at the Ooh, comments at all. Woo. I can't find it. Right I find. Now. I know exactly where it's at. I read it ten times. So I don't like it. <laughs> don't oh, like, it is. Don't write that as wallpaper. Listen to this. Uh, hold on, hold on. Oh, there's actually been more conversation. Oh wow. About it. It's a whole thing. It's, it's a thread. Uh, I got a thread. Oh yeah. This is exciting. Okay. Okay. I'm gonna read it. Cause we're family. We're family. We're family. Oh, yeah. We're gonna talk about oh, it. Ah yeah. <laughs> <laughs> uh, oh, shoot! All that dog. Oh, oh yeah. Come on, I man. That ain't on fat thumbs. Daphne Bradley. Got barbecue sauce. <laughs> hey, we had barbecue at a place. Barbecue called... was just meh. That was pretty good. I think because it was so hot in the restaurant. Salt and smoke. Yeah, and it was really good. Hold on, let me find it. Itching. Oh, God. Wow. <laughs> what are you doing? It's $100,000 in your head. I was just trying to put this back on. I'll put it back on. You. I was just trying to adjust it. <laughs> it's chaining day, man. Look at this. <laughs> chaining day? Yeah. It's itchy. How do you do this? Oh, it's making your, right, that man. itch is making your neck green. Why did you just hate, Kevin? I, know. I was laughing with y'all, man. Hey, man. Having a Stay focused. Samina says hi, no boy. Samina's here? No, S Samina. The, the oh, Samina. Hey. Thanks, okay, Samina. here we go. Here we go. What's Daphne, her name? They said that. Daphne. Daphne. I love y'all, but that last episode was cringy. Y'all, please ease up off the door. I know you were just taking this. I was like, keep going. <laughs> a joke here Go on. It was funny, but nah, nah. Now it's a whole roast session on him. He can't make a joke that y'all laugh at anymore. But as soon as anyone else oh makes one, my it's all good. Gosh. Josh is doing a lot of commentary. <laughs> And I'm really not trying to hear from him so much in an episode. It's coming off these cares out there. And I get it right out of this time. But this like don't can never say or do the right thing before you pick him apart. He's already sensitive and it clearly looks like he's inferior to care. This sounds like Doughboy. This sounds like Doughboy made a burner account. And whoever Serena is, <laughs> it's supposed to be a talk set. Not not supposed to be the whole hour educated, <laughs> correcting, and criticizing. No. I feel so bad for him this last round, but it's been getting progressively harder to watch. Oh <laughs> Honestly, y'all won't hear my thorough apology. A public <laughs> I want my heart. He's been clapped. <laughs> 
Daphne, let, let me tell you what, Daphne. <laughs> let me tell you what. Woo! We all disagree with Doughboy. <laughs> <laughs> this just ain't on Righteous and Ratchet. This is on the tour. This is in Doughboy's life. Mm. This is his low, whole life at eighty. Do you think mm. this is bad? Oh, Try being on tour. You know who Tony uh, Doughboy's arch nemesis is? Tony, Tony Baker. Baker. Mm. You think Josh has a problem with Doughboy? Oh, they go at it here and there, play for banter. Tony <laughs> Baker and Doughboy. Oh, oh, oh. I'm gonna stop talking to Tony Baker for the rest of my life. Twenty minutes later, I forgot what he had said to me. <laughs> Arch no, no. nemesis. And here's the other thing: somebody she went out later to say he's gonna be the prep. <laughs> You're chasing it back to the bottom. You listen, <laughs> listen, guys. We we don't want to let you in behind the curtain. <laughs> Do what does this stuff on purpose. No, you're not supposed to tell them that. No, man, you, you bring these stories up on purpose <laughs> to make us laugh. It's fun. You that's, know the right, the, that's the right path. You know the story about you buying that car is going to make you laugh. Exactly. If you didn't want to talk about it, he wouldn't bring so, it up. So, as much as I appreciate that, man, thank you for my and comment. There's a lot of people. Got, I, listen, I appreciate it. Go but, hard for Doe if you right. feel that way. And I like the right. family but, on that. Uh, but also, also understand, just in all for realness, like... We're family. Like, Josh is like my little brother. Yeah, he gets on my nerves. I get on his, but mm. it's my bro. Like, I, I wouldn't let anybody oh, else. Hold on, hold on. Let me oh. pause you. Riaz Ali commented. Oh, okay. I, I read this whole way down, but no, he, he, he was... It was it was graceful. Okay. It's nice that you care, but I completely disagree. The reason they fall into that dynamic and rhythm is because Doughboy knows it's funny. If Cat is ratchet and he's ratchet, he's completely in on the joke and benefiting through it through Patreon. He's intentionally asking questions that reveal his ignorance so that Cat can generate content from it. There's That's entertaining... And informative. It's boring and lame to be ever so careful if everyone's super special inner child and feelings that are delicate and precious. Yes. Yeah, so that's really what I'm mighty for the love are, but definitely not righteous and ratchet. The funniest conversation they had was while they're making a bet against about getting a... I think he made Regina. He's ever record. No way gave a long explanation on how confident he felt and incredulously, incredulously that's, oh, wow. a great that's a great word. word. What? Write that down. Incredulously <laughs> asked Kev, you don't think I can get Regina to date me? Kev immediately responded with no mercy or hesitation. <laughs> the way he kept it a hundred and delivered out a straight, no. Kill me was the exact moment I was convinced to become a Patreon. I want the hardcore laughs, never sensitive sensitivity trait. Kev Howard, though, by the way, today I learned the slang for soldiers in World War One were called Doughboys. So now we know where Doughboy guys get from. Didn't get it from there. He got it from a movie, but that's funny. Uh, Here's the thing, and y'all forget. Did, did they not see the spandex episode? Oh, you yeah, yeah. Oh, I played it. Josh wasn't on my side, man. Oh, oh no. Right? Everybody's on my side right. in life because right. Doughboy's always on the other side of everything. Extreme. <laughs> so uh but just, just there's it's, never just, no hurtful. No, stuff. these are my these are my friends, these are my family, and we're just having a good having time. A and then like but then I know we type up uh, the, the, the line between reality and whatever, but Guys, but he's having fun. But even then, those things you say <laughs> off camera, it's the same conversation, the same jokes. Yeah. 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 But so no, it's no, fun. I think she, you you might not understand that. Right. If and you're I brand new, right. if somebody like tries to tag you in the show, say yes. check it out, and all of a sudden you hear all this stuff going on, There's a lot going on. Man. And like, I appreciate passion. Mm -hmm. I would rather somebody passionately say, "Josh, shut up." Mm -hmm. Yes, and then shut just not say nothing. Right. And not feel a way about exactly. it. Mm -hmm. And Doughboy's best quality is he's endearing. So what does that mean? Uh, he just got a lovable quality about you. you just I know. just oh, yeah, man. Yeah, man. That's why you didn't get fired from ADD plenty of times. I was in those rooms. Well, I know like, they tried to fire me a couple times. They were like, they were like your name came up. They'd be like, what about Billboard? They'd be like, I mean, you can't get rid of Billboard. You right? look over at me. I'm with no shoes on. You can't get rid of that. Literally. People you John Patterson. Really? Yes. People you JP yeah. trying to burn them out. No, no, JP. Oh, I like, thought it was like, man. It literally, and you executives you wouldn't even like interact with. Right. I mean, you you and I had a lot of similar possibility or personality. We were the type of people to talk to everybody in the office. Right. Literally everyone. Mm. Executives to intern, editors to janitor, me and Doe in the editor. What y'all doing? Up, editing, editing. <laughs> <laughs> You know, Doughboy even more than me. He wasn't doing his work. So he did what y'all do. Like, hmm, hmm. It's, it's 8 a.m. What are you talking yeah. about? <laughs> so I remember one time, John Patterson was like, um, if you get rid of Doughboy, you get rid of the culture of this company. Wow, really? I was like, yeah. Because it wasn't always me having to go to the bathroom. <laughs> Literally, like, no matter how many things they were making, they were like, I mean, you can't. This guy's great. He does all this. He's on camera. He can write. 
but your personality saved your job. And that and there's other people who was just like, yeah, everybody hates that guy. So, <laughs> He's the best at what he does. Bro, Bro. Out of <laughs> people don't like you. There's no one to defend you. And right. then when one person goes to defend you, people are just like, but I hate Shut that up. guy. <laughs> yeah, you can go to. There's right. some people, y'all know who I'm talking about. Uh, yeah. Two particular I, producers. Nobody went to bat for them. I yeah. Have. I have. All right, so. I don't uh, know who you're talking about. Tell me off camera, though. You know. You know. This this guy. Oh! This guy. <laughs> <laughs> all right. Okay. Uh, so now that that's. Uh, it's happened, all good, man. It's all good. I'm up. just going through the uh, comments. Uh, neck looking slim, dough. Hey! It's a good the, angle. It's a good oh, angle. About you. you see the ice. <laughs> All right. So first thing on the docket today is uh, Alabama is refusing to air Mr. Ratburn's gay wedding on Arthur. It was so. <laughs> so Twitter put this as a moment, and they said Alabama refuses gay rat wedding, and then they like fixed it up and put some like. <laughs> Alabama refuses to show homophobic nuptials, homophobic nuptials between, you know, but it was like gay rat wedding is just. Here's my thing about this. You I, have a you have thought? Um, yes, I'm torn on it. Because. About the gay rat wedding? Yes. Because for one, I don't have a problem with gay people. Never been Do you have a problem with gay rats, though? <laughs> <laughs> so that's my thing. Gay so, humans, I don't mind. Gay rats, it's an American. So you're causing a lot. My thing is this: I don't have a problem with gay people. It's never been an issue. I've never, I, I'm not, I'm one of those people who not only don't have a problem with gay people. I've always been perplexed at why people have problems mm. with gay people. So, gay people do whatever you want. That's cool. But at the same time, I just be like, why do you have to put that in cartoons though? Here's the thing. That's a lot to me. Here's the thing I'm, I think is interesting. But well, what, because I, I'm one thing. Yeah, yeah, yeah. But I also don't like overly, overtly obvious. Any heterosexual relationships in cartoons. Well, They're killed for children. Well, that's the thing. To... Here's the thing about most cartoons, what they are trying to get is representation. Okay. Right? So, um, uh, before Sesame Street didn't have many, or actually Sesame Street had, had more minority characters than probably most shows. Mm -hmm. So, you know, you want audiences to reflect uh, the life with the world people live in. Okay. Whether you agree with gay, <clears throat> gay marriage or gay rats mm -hmm. or whatever, there are children uh -huh. in the world who grow up with gay parents. Mm -hmm. Or that are gay themselves. Or that are gay themselves. Or get adopted by or gay parents. Get, yeah, so just same thing with like disability, children with disabilities, right? You don't have a, when you have a, a, a character say on Sesame Street, because it's like the most popular children's show of all time. Mm -hmm. You have a kid on there with, you know, like um, a disability, maybe they have crutches or whatever. Mm -hmm. You don't say, man, why do they got to go out of their way to show, you know, disabled kids? What are my kids going to do? That? It's about those kids who are disabled. Showing a representation of what the world is. Yes. Time. So whether you agree with gay marriage or gay rats or right. not, there are gay people are. in the world. My thing that I always think is funny is, it, the, the the logic always is if we put this gay stuff it's it's the it's the homophobic agenda mm -hmm. we're making the kids gay right I have a gay nephew mm -hmm. okay he is flamboyant again right. beautiful oh I just I just uh, yeah. found this out recently I I mean, and when about. he was young we I was like this you already knew oh. you knew, <laughs> you knew young oh five years old Rip. Yeah, absolutely he I don't think he knew but I was like this is <laughs> said this I is gay. Yeah. <laughs> you know, check him for this like pretty out. Come on. So when he came out, I was just like, yeah. 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 So <clears throat> the point I reason I bring that up is whether he watches that Mr. Ar or uh, Arthur Arthur's wedding. Mr. Ratburn's wedding right. or not, it's not he was still gonna be what he he's still gonna, gonna be. <clears throat> B was he water something? Nah. Okay, so, yeah. Is, there, is there <laughs> I think I might have one in my backpack. Keep talking. I'll get it. Wait, so, okay. someone commented, were, were Bert and Ernie gay? Bert and Ernie were it gay. That heavily, just came out. Hold on. It was heavily, it was heavily high, high, but I don't think they ever No, they, they recently, like in Europe, no, no, they like, early in the day. Same machine yeah. officially said it? Yeah. Wait. Yeah, really? Pull it up. Yeah, they said it. They said that they was gay. Let me say that. Pull it up. I'm pulling it up. What's my fault? I didn't know. I never knew. Yeah. No, I think Sesame Street said no. No, they said that. I, I know that I read it somewhere. Oh, well, you've been reading stuff sometimes. Oh, Bert yeah. and Ernie are indeed a gay couple. Sesame Street writer claims. Oh, uh, yeah. What'd you say, Josh? You I, said, you, I say you be reading random headlines sometimes. I do. 
Sesame Street denies writers claim that Bert and Ernie are gay. USA Today. <laughs> then both these articles came out on the same, <laughs> on the same day. The writer was like, hey, man, they're gay. They were like, no, they weren't gay. Bert and Ernie never really had no girls, though. No. Oh, no, Sesame Street says no. Really? Oh. Oh, the writer oh, came out. He, the dude, the, the, the dude okay, that so wrote it said it. Oh. The Washington. <laughs> I was like, "Wait, no fool!" Dude was like, "I write, I wrote it." No, we said no. I, 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 I wrote this. Wrote. Okay, the um, yeah, the writer added Mark Saltzman, who wrote for several episodes of the children's program, said a re- recent interview that when he wrote for Bert and Ernie, he thought of them as gay. I always felt that with it, without a huge agenda. I always felt that without a huge agenda when I was writing Bert and Ernie, they were and I. Didn't have any other way to contextualize them. Sesame Street work, works chart, which produces Sesame Street, has long tried to shut down special sexuality about the characters. And they said, as we've always said, Bert and Ernie are best friends, the company said in a statement Tuesday. They were created to teach preschoolers that people can be good friends with those who are very different from themselves, even though they are identified as male characters and possess many human traits and characteristics, as most Sesame Street Muppets do, they remain puppets and do not have a sexual orientation. So they're saying that they're that's, that's, their, that's their that's cop out. That's their cop out. Right. Absolutely. Right. The writer's that's like, so oh, they're gay though. <laughs> like, absolutely. Like, but, see, this is, but I'm here for that. I'm, I'm here for that representation in a kid's show though. I think I think that's great. And I'm I, I'm also you think gay characters in the cartoon is great. What they weren't heavily implied that they were they weren't doing anything oh, out of the. Okay, but what do you feel about the rat running gay thing in Mr. Arthur? You think like that's great? Oh, I don't know. I I can't speak on that. Reference because I I don't know the I don't we're, know we're the, the reference. They, they were to be married. <laughs> no, but I don't. No, but I don't know the I don't know the content. I've never seen anything well, like this that. Is all, this is this is here's the skinny of it. It's two dudes and they're getting married. How do you feel? Hold about on, Alex Marshall said something. Kids, so. <laughs> Alabama don't like nothing. Gays, blacks, <laughs> <laughs> women's education. Sorry. The only thing they like is the Crimson Tide. The Roll Tide. Roll Tide. You hear? Roll Tide. You're never gonna bat a bad gum out of that football game. Yeah, good. Um, <laughs> Chardonnay Root. <laughs> this said is your phone charged. What? It yeah. is. Black says. Yeah, look at it. It's because we know drove we four hours. Yeah. 41%. Yeah. How yeah. was it? You were charged it all day. The whole car ride was plugged in. 41%. So, Nay, Nay, she came to LA. So anyway, so what's your what's your final uh feeling? This is what I think. I think that the reason why I, I can empathize with people that don't under that don't like it because I do feel like sometimes in TV shows they give you a token gay character just because it's kind of like the new thing. I do feel like sometimes it's forced, there's nothing for the story and you but just... But you can, you can say that about black people, Asian people. If that if there wasn't yeah. token characters, every TV show would have just white people. Straight white people. But you haven't... Because that's who's making TV. I don't know, but I think the world has changed though because like, I'm starting to see like billboards with gay couples now. Netflix, for example, is going super hard on representation. They got strong black lead. They got shows like... My block on my block, which have no mm-hmm. non-white main characters, and I that's and remember. that's targeted towards the younger demo. I love that show. Is there even any main characters that are not that are not people of color in there? The kids no. are all no. Oh, that's yeah. fire. Now that I think about it, I can't remember a white character There's in that not, show. No white so people are not. But yeah. I was gonna say it's also like inner city. But you know what? Right. You know what I've always hated about that though. When when you have a show that has a bunch of minorities. And no white people. People are quick to call it out. But there be shows that just be all white people oh, and never black people. Lord. And they never said that. There was never no black people on Friends. Or like George Which Field. Is weird, weird to me because I've been watching Seinfeld. Seinfeld had black characters all, and not just like yeah. background. Right. There's black dude at the uh, the restaurant they eat at all the time. One day George randomly went to the black people's house to watch the movie. <laughs> but he said on the couch. Like, and it wasn't weird. But like, bro, have you been to New York? Yeah. There's hardly any, I mean, not hardly any white right. people, but like, Heavy it's mad right. diverse. You can go it's three mad diverse. minutes right. without seeing someone of a, a actually probably three seconds. Hear different languages if you everywhere. Stood on if you stood in any neighborhood in New York, mm-hmm. Brooklyn, Staten Island, mm-hmm. Manhattan, you would see probably. I'd actually argue you'd see seven of ten people you would see be people of color. Oh yeah. Oh, Ruby's brother's girl. Ruby's brother. The white girl. She is. Someone white. brought it up in the comments. I forgot about uh, her. That was a whole thing, but that was that, that was a that was a good representation of white. it too, though. I like that. And she was out. Oh my gosh, mm-hmm. she was outside of the norm. With the white way, oh, she white was girl, outside Ruby's of the culture. Girl, like Ruby's older bro- older older brother. When they came moved from in, college, right? With the white girl who's pregnant. He did. She's oh. the outsider in that yes. show. Yes. And in oh. those shows, 
he would be the outsider. Right? That is, yeah. Because she was, they're all like heavily Catholic, and right. she, uh, Greg she Colgas. was like, huh? Oh, I said Greg Colgas. This is why I like the, the, Shouts to the right back. But I, and the thing is, people of color, and, and this is what Hollywood always said, well, if it's, you know, who will watch it if, it, if it's not just white people? Black people Everybody? watch all type of stuff that ain't for us. Game of Thrones was not for black people. Was there any black people on that? There's a couple. The Unsullied were mostly black, and the Dothraki, and they sent them out to the war first. Just another example of a white man sending the black and brown people to the front lines first while Same they're the kings and queens. What is, you what hear is, me, white man? <laughs> it's always you relying on the black and brown people to die so you can build your <laughs> castles and your gold. You think the Doc Rocky wanted to die? Do you think the Unsullied wanted to die so y'all can sit in the dragon's pit in Westeros and decide what's good for the free world? Well, y'all something else. <laughs> so what do you land on this? How do you feel about this? You know what's let funny? Let me ask you an even better question. No, I, you, let me ask let, you a first question. Yeah, man, you me double up. Here's the thing that I found, and this is going to talk about the abortion thing for just one second. I think that you We know, haven't touched that. I know, we haven't touched it, and that's because I don't like to speak publicly about my thoughts on issues like that unless I have concise stuff. Okay. Because I know that you can get twisted and all that stuff. Right. But somebody had a really interesting tweet that I thought was, I think that about sums it up for me. No. It was about abortion and this white girl. Come on, man, give my eyes right. Give my eyes, is it right? You I'm a what? You Two fifty on the net? Mm-hmm. Three million on the roof. There you go. I need the grill. <laughs> you do need a grill. You do need a you, I want to get a grill. We should get grill. I think another one. I lost my grill. I left it. In Atlanta. Let's get grills together. Let's do it. In Atlanta, I got somebody who can do it. Oh, we're going to the ranch. Scotty ATL, you remember? Heck yeah. Yeah, he does you grills. You know Scotty ATL? Yes, yeah. We, Let's, we, Toby we, said he could get we'll, Paul we'll, we'll circle back. Times, times, times. What? Toby said he could get Paul Wall to make me a grill. Oh, what are, are we doing? H Town, July twentieth. Next time Paul we're there. Paul Wall. Paul Wall. Paul Wall. What you know about me, baby? That he said I, wanna, I just want to do this one time. Throw it away after. Not I want not. Rose Gold. I, I want to come up with a new like a new personality for myself, and I'm gonna call Rose Gold Tony, and I'm gonna wear Rose Gold jewelry. Okay. Right, just a ratchet grills. Righteous and Ratchet Green. Uh -huh. We should get it before we go on tour. Let's do that. By the way, I'm, I'm going to get to my thoughts. Tour promo. I talked to my agent about... Uh, oh, your agent. Setting up the Righteous and Ratchet tour. It's a look at life. You need to do this. I told you. No, nah, I kept going. He I, I, told I, like two weeks ago. Did you? Yeah, because what we talked about you it. Come? You were excited. You don't remember this? Josh was like, Kevin, hey, if, if you do that, you're going to have to cut them in. I was like, yeah, but they're going to get us bigger venues. And I don't think you We've been talking about... Who's well, we'll circle back after. But tour promo flyer? Register Ratchet oh. Grills. Ah. 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 All right, back to the episode. I forgive you for letting my back and butt be out last episode. 451. 451. 451. Okay. Right, so going. the person said, if you're, because it's like, I'm a Christian, I'm against abortion. That's right. what the person was saying in the tweet. She said, if you're a Christian, you can be against abortion. But that doesn't mean you get to make the laws. It, get, it means you don't get them yourself, and you pray for the people that get them. Not that you regulate others. I like it. That's great. <clears throat> and I, I, I grew up very Christian household. Abortion is wrong. Abortion is wrong. Here's the funny thing that no one wants to talk about. Abortion is wrong. Abortion is wrong. Mm -hmm. So many of the girls in my churches, my friends, oh, yeah. pastor's daughters, deacon's daughters. I know a lot of people. PKs? PKs. Oh. Regular people getting abortions. People stepping outside of their marriage. Having kids outside. Getting abortions. Going right back to the pulpit, talking about how wrong it is. I know you up there talking about how wrong an abortion is. I know you had an abortion. I know you had a girl pay. You for see it. that? You see a lot go on behind the Ooh. red velvet robe. When roof. you work, well, yeah, when you're for in the church, church, we gotta get this. We gotta, we gotta uh, talk about some of the stuff. You, no, that's bad. You, you, you want to talk about messing with your mind? Wait, so you, wait, so you actually have seen someone that you know had an Don't. abortion get up on stage and and, and detest it? No. Oh, I, man. The irony of that. <laughs> if there's one Singers. place where you think you can be honest about it. Gay, I'm talking about. Got to see it through. Got to see it through, see it through my boy. <laughs> Ministers of music who I know are gay. Mm -hmm. I'm talking about my homegirl was like, oh, homegirl. So a friend of mine is, is goes to the church. Her, all her, she's the only person that's saved in her family. But we all went to school together. Mm -hmm. Her homegirl not saved. She's like, man, no. She was a black girl. We go to the gay club because they pour strong drinks. And, and she was basically saying, I, I want to quote this because I say niggas sometimes. <laughs> she was like, we go to gay clubs because we can dance and niggas don't be trying to dance on us. <laughs> like, we're four strong jeans and we can, out dance we, can dance, <laughs> we can dance with each other uh, and, no, and nobody bothers us. 
I can see why women were feeling like that. Like, I, it, she was like, gay dudes don't be on that like that. They mm-hmm. dance with each other. Right. They buying us drinks. She was like, it's fantastic. About, uh, so she was like, <laughs> I seen you. <laughs> she was like, I seen you. Your minister of music up in there. I see him all the time. He's bought me drinks. He be in there, man. I and here's really? the, and, and, and and y'all and that's just my church. There are some things I know about your favorite gospel singers. Tell me on camera. Oh, I know. You, what I know. you would a tea, sis. not believe. Really? People, if they knew, it would it would mess with their ability to even receive music from them. Really? I'm talking. And I'm talking about. And you know the crazy thing no, about no, that no, is. No, no. Let me oh, finish. Not. I'm not talking about gospel artists you don't know. Like big ones? I'm talking about legendary. Really? You would not believe. Let me ask you this. That brings up a, a great point. Gangster rapper raps about selling drugs and killing people. Mm. Probably has never done either or. Yeah. We are whatever with it. All right, whatever. It doesn't really make you like his music any less. Right. Does it make you not be able to ingest someone's music if you know they're full of it? As far as a gospel artist. You know what's interesting? That's not really representative. That's a great question. Here's the thing that I find. This has always been my approach to it. Mm-hmm. God only has flawed people to use. Mm. Say that one more time. That is that. Oh, God only too. has flawed people. Yeah. I'm, I was a youth pastor. I, I had sex before marriage. Now, I tended to not hide who I was ever. And I right. think that's why my students rock with me because mm-hmm. I was like, wow, kept it, on, right. kept it on hundred. Everybody's not like that. Right. People want to protect their reputation, but all God, even back to the Bible days, mm-hmm. David was his boy. David saw Bathsheba outside sitting on that thing. He sent her husband <laughs> to the front line. I'm going to get that man killed. <laughs> I'm going to see what that thing Moses? Moses got drunk. Noah, like, all, this is, this is all, I know God be like, bro, y'all can't do nothing. I just, I asked you to do one thing. <laughs> Right. So all he has, and by his grace, he forgives us over right. and over again. One thing that I don't like is you sitting there preaching about something. And knowing I, that you partake. I know. Because don't you think it'd be much more of a powerful message if you'd be like, I did that. I was delivered. But, and see, that's what I've been trying to do. There's a person named Jackie Hill Perry. She used to be a lesbian, and she wrote a book called. Oh, she used to be a lesbian? She used to be a lesbian. She wrote a book called. Uh, God, that's Game something you can make a new turn off? Yeah. Uh, Oh yeah, my one Jack. Uh, I don't know. You know was a... She had a strong book title, "Gay Girl, Good God." This is her right here. Friend of mine, uh, friend, well, I mean, I say friend of mine. Uh, we be talking about right. that, uh, stuff like that. She was gonna come do Aska as a as a um, lesbian, but who, she's not that anymore. No, no, yeah, and she was gonna talk about that, but I, Aska was too expensive right. to to continue. <laughs> <laughs> to continue. Yes, what's up? But uh, anyway. Uh, <laughs> Yeah, <laughs> but anyway, so her thing is like this is what God delivered me from, and that's her her truth. I remember when Tone, um, Tone was preaching about like take earrings out. He literally came to watch. Like take y'all earrings out mm-hmm. next next week. He was on Lexi's show. Like I'm gay. And I've been gay. What? Yeah. He was telling people to take the earrings out. Mm-hmm. Why? Tone was like, and Lexi was like, but, I, but I, I don't see the correlation. Why would you have to take your earrings out? Because he was talking about your body's a temple, you gotta represent God, this and that. So he said, take your earrings out, and he was doing things much more egregious than that. <laughs> the thing about Tone, though, he always kept it a thousand. When he went, well, not when after, people take their earrings after, out. After, <laughs> right. He was with Lexi on this interview, and she was like, um, she was like, uh, you know, did you struggle with, with homosexuality? He was like, no, it wasn't no struggle. I was just doing it. <laughs> <laughs> I, I was struggling. I, I, <laughs> I ran in that direction and did right. the homosexuality thing. Right. So since then, he's kind of been open and honest about it. He got like ridiculed as a result. And to be honest, though, there was a, a lot of churches I went to. There were gay people. There were all, all kinds of sin. Right. But I'm talking about pastor, son, having daughters. I mean, literally just everything. Gayness was always set apart as the worst thing. But however, you were gay, you could leave the choir. And that, that's why I hate that the choir director is gay stereotype. Mm-hmm. But then I went to a church that the choir director was gay and amazing. I was just like, well, I mean, some stereotypes exist for a reason. But he... <laughs> two things can be true. <laughs> two things can be true. And I was just like, this guy literally right. is the... Right. You know, he used to do that at the gay club that I was right. just talking about. Right. But he wrote great music. You know, he was amazing singer, taught great parts. You, we wouldn't even have half the gospel music Question. we have. If we, let me finish my statement. Okay. We wouldn't have half the gospel music we have if mm-hmm. we didn't have gay songwriters. True. One of my boys got a Was hit there another on, water over there? 
Yeah, one of my boys got hit on by a gay gospel singer, uh -huh. famous. He asked him out on a date, and then the dude asked, is this a date? And he was like, why you got to classify it like that? He was like, you asking me to dinner. And he said, what? Why you, you got to what? Why you got to classify it like that? <laughs> so, <laughs> so, all my, you know, so anyway, I don't even know how I got on that. You go ask me a question. Okay, I got this is the thing that I, I've never really understood. In life, there is a million and one things you could be doing wrong. Mm -hmm. Like me just being envious of you for like dashing being skinnier than me. Yeah. yeah. But dashing good looks doesn't get you happy. <laughs> so let's say I'm you don't think I have dashing good looks? Dashing? Oh yeah, handsome guy. So let's say I'm, I'm, I'm jealous of your dashing looks. Mm -hmm. That is the same. And if I'm supposed to be correct, all sins are equivalent. There's no higher rankings like except yeah. for blasphemy is the top thing. Only we rank. Right, right. Why do we always mark out sexual things as like the bigger sense. Like whether it's gay or Here's having premarital thing. sex or abortion or First of all, time out. Okay. They were so mad at me mm -hmm. on the comments. You told me. That, 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 that was stressing you out a little bit. Oh, they were stressing me out because I know my intentions. Mm -hmm. They were trying to say um that I was not stressing you out, they were just coming for you. They were coming out right. after me. That I was saying God was okay with wives and concubines. That's not what I was saying. Right. Right. Water or it's not my there's no more water. It was not my intention. All I was saying was they had wives and concubines in the right. Bible. Go back to the question though. Um, why do we oh, that's why streamline on just sex things? I think it's just is it because it's the easiest to I mark? I think it's human nature. Think about how many politicians have been, you know, voted against abortion and then come out that they've had paid for abortion. I, if politicians vote, go for what they think people want. We talk about this. They go for what they right. think people are going to vote for. Not right. that, Barack Obama was against gay marriage his first term. But by, was it? Yes. I know you didn't vote, so you weren't aware of the policies. But by his second term, he looked around and was like, man, people ain't really on that. Don't Prop know. 8, let's ride. Yeah. Really? yeah. yeah. His second term, he was all for it. Look back at early Obama. He was against gay marriage. He came around to it. Really? Yes, because that's how you that's get... that's the, the public... Uh, well, that's how you get at the... T absolutely, right. the public thing. Christians. Mm -hmm. Most Christians in the world... A lot. Of, I shouldn't say most. A lot of Christians I know coming up that are super religious. Mm -hmm. Gay rights and abortion... The only voting thing that matters. Really? Vote for Trump. Voted for Trump. Black people included. Voted for Trump strictly and only because he was anti-abortion. Really? Anti -gay right. Oh, man. I just think that's just really fascinating that that's just the thing that we... Because I just kind of just live off the thing. Like, like, bro, like, just let people do what they want to do. Yeah. Like, you know what I'm saying? Like, yeah. but so, I don't know. It's always a great thing. So, all right. So, what's the next thing on the back end? Yeah, Donnie, Donnie McClurkin was gay, too. Donnie McCarkin? Mm -hmm. He got molested. Daryl Coley, too, one of my favorite singles. Calling Daryl. Daryl Coley. Daryl. Anyway, so right. these are some silly questions that I found on the internet that I wanted to post to you. Okay. I mean, some of them are You keep like, you really want to sit Indian style. Go ahead, man. Just feel Well, I can't. I, I can only do half. <laughs> okay. Is that racist to say Indian, Indian style? I, I don't think it's PC. You can say, say crisscross Chris applesauce, applesauce in daycare style. You know but growing is, up, growing okay. up, they did teach we it Indian style. Said Indian there's, style. A lot of, there's a lot of racist things that people say I've learned. Like so calling someone an Indian giver is, is racist. Yes. Yeah. Sample episode on that. Yeah, it's different things that you can say that you're not supposed to say. I don't want to say it. I mean, it is. <laughs> so let me clarify. <laughs> he was using the term Indian giver. Uh -huh. And somebody was like, well, you shouldn't say that. And he was dating a Native American girl. Uh -huh. So she Indian gave something back to him. So he was like, well, she gave something and she was like, have it back. And he was like, that's a. <laughs> 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 Never mind. So <laughs> then. <laughs> so then. <laughs> So he goes to, they're trying to get tickets to some game, Knicks game or, or Mets game or whatever. And he's like, man, how'd you get tickets? He's like, oh, I went outside and bought them people that sell them for hire. It means this. <laughs> <laughs> Never mind. I didn't even know that one. Scalper? Yeah. That, you know where it comes from. What? They, uh, Native Americans used to, or indigenous people. Wow. I actually think indigenous people is the correct term. I think so. Because Native American implies that. They were first to America, but mm -hmm. I don't know exactly what the word indigenous means, but I think it means like the people that are native that to are, that land. Yes, I believe okay. so. I believe so they so. used to scout people, like cut their head and like settlers and stuff. That was their like thing. They literally cut their scalp off, off their head. After a lot them. of times, I think it was bounty hunters. That's how yeah. they would prove that. Rip their head off? No, no, no like cut the scalp. scalp. Cut. How could you tell who's it was? It just does anybody. I mean, if you're a hairline, I'd be like, well, this is obviously dope, boys. No. Just push back. <laughs> I just found this out last night. Big Irish Yang taught me this. Paddy wagon is racist. Oh, that's an Irish term. Yes, it's an oh, Irish well, term. Wait, Irish why? Get, what's the bad part? Irish people used to get drunk and they used to just be like, get a bunch of them and arrest them for drinking or whatever. Oh, and call Paddy, 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 Paddy. Yes. 
That's why they call it that. Yes. I did not know that. Yeah. I did not know that. Racist terms all around here. All right, let's get a question. Picnic is from the word pick a nigga. What? Yes. What? The word picnic is racist. Or pick a ninny. Pick a ninny. I'm sorry. Oh, I thought you said picnic. Like, said picnic yeah, picnic. picnic. The word picnic comes from pick a ninny. Which means pick a word? Mm-hmm. Hold on. What's even real? What's... Well, America's fabric is racism. America's built on racism. No, oh, anyway. I don't okay. want to read all the articles. Okay. All right, All right so here's the question. first silly question. Ten, this is so stupid. Okay, ten million dollars right now in your hand, <laughs> but there's a catch. A snail is chasing you for the rest of your life. Okay. If it touches you, you die a terrible death. Okay. The snail cannot be killed. It knows your location at all times. It, its only purpose is to find you. You can't sleep. Are you taking the money? Yeah. <laughs> and buying can away. <laughs> and sleeping around a salt shaking bed. Wait, what? what? I was, was going to say salt all around my bed. Or just oh, the salt all around the bed is all around Or just bed. put a bucket over him. Like, what is no. it? Where's he gonna go? Man, you wouldn't see him though. If you fall asleep, you don't know exactly. where he's at. You don't know. You're, you're probably never gonna oh, see you're him. You're right. You're right. But if you put salt around on your bed, he'll be telling the kids like, ah, oh, I'll get it. He's like, <laughs> you can sleep in a, <laughs> you can sleep in a hyperbaric chamber. Yeah. But you always, always gonna be looking like. I would just keep salt with me at all times. I get a gun and shoot salt bullets. <laughs> <laughs> but, but I'm stupid. I'll be shooting at my full bed. They got a flavor. In it. <laughs> you finish the salt. He's crawling up. He's like, mm-hmm. I'm gonna put the wrong type of salt. Put Lowry's in it. <laughs> Tony Sesame's. <laughs> it don't kill the Stella. But it hit though. <laughs> Double fire. <Well, laughs> <hold on. laughs> Tony Sensory? <laughs> so, well, hold on. You can never truly relax. You're at the club, you're dancing and stuff, you just gotta be like, uh, yeah, what's up? Just make sure you're sitting there looking at you like. <laughs> Someone said, but the snail's immortal, but can't uh, it can't get through booby traps? <laughs> <laughs> no, he's a regular snail. But oh, okay. I'm taking the money because this is the thing. You cannot take the money, walk down the street, get hit by a bus anyway. People always say that. Yeah, nobody ever gets hit by a bus either. Oh, I mean, I'm not, I'm not trying to get hit by a bus. Some people get hit by a bus. That, that I just think that not enough bus. people get hit by buses for us to be saying you could walk out the house and That's get hit by a bus. But somebody got hit by a bus and people were like, I mean, yeah, they, they, they try to tell them. <laughs> <laughs> you knew this day may come. You could have took the millet. I told them. <laughs> if I got hit by a bus and died, I'd be so mad. <laughs> that would just be, if of you have to die people. because you just couldn't wait for a light, I would be if I got hit by bus and died tomorrow. Mm-hmm. You know I would be mad because I ate healthy this week. <laughs> I would have had milkshake. Got a milkshake today, a steak and shake. Yeah. And as the bus hit me, I'd be like, I could have had it. I could have <laughs> had a strawberry. That's your last thought before you check out. Steak shake. Could have had a milkshake. <laughs> you want to kill me now, hey, fat boy? <laughs> I had the fattest thing you've ever said. Fat sounds no. Before your ultimate demise. Yeah, I could have had a the salt and caramel. I sip of that salt and caramel shake. You know how bad I would have been? Lisa knows what I'm going through. She's going to steak shake. She had a whole bit. I'm over here. Let's you know how hard it is to eat pineapples and somebody has a milkshake next to you? Let's talk about that. Pineapples don't taste good. Chocolate chip cookies. Pineapples do not taste good when a milkshake is in your frame of reference. You said something very like deep today. I, I want to talk about that. Dude, we're all over the place. We're in a oh, oh, yeah. so we are with friends and family. I came to a new realization because you know we are on the weight loss challenge and for us the update. Kev is about 245, 246. 245. I'm still about 296, 297. So he still has me by about 50 pounds, but I'm gonna beat him by August 21st. But <laughs> what I've come up to, the conclusion of this, the the other 23 hours of the day. Is more important than the one hour you spend Yo, in the gym. Amir, our friend. Real talk. Our friend Amir. You know Amir. Yeah. But Amir like, lost, what, 30, 40 pounds? I, I think 30, yeah, about 35. Over about a year and a half, two years, Amir has not worked out one day. What Literally. He cut out sugar from his diet. Mm-hmm. Cut out bread. Cut out bread. And I think fried food, maybe? Yes. Because he used to eat crazy donuts. Like he loved donuts. Oh, man. Blame the donuts. Blame the donuts. People used to see them. You see all those donuts? Man. And he just was wild disciplined about it. Mm. The thing about weight loss for me that I'm realizing is it's the, the this is why I don't do keto and stuff. Mm. This is why Greg, Greg is my trainer and he's the worst. He's on tour with us this weekend. <laughs> he literally, he's never had me. Fix me up. No matter what I eat, he thinks it's bad for me. 
Never, never happy. He was and just telling you gruel and peanuts. Yeah. <laughs> he was telling me, he was like, bro, don't put raisins in your oatmeal. I'm like, I'm already eating. You know what oatmeal. I want to eat? Yeah, oatmeal is I like... want to go to McDonald's and get uh, uh, whatever. Sausage, yeah. egg, and cheese biscuits. Deluxe or, pancake uh, breakfast. Two, two sausage, egg, and cheese burritos, hash browns, and a caramel frat. That's what I want to eat. Right. So the so fact that I'm choosing oatmeal, oatmeal over that is a whip. And putting raisins in it is just to hide the... It has the, to be edible. It's it's disgusting. Yeah. I mean, it's not disgusting. Oatmeal without something? Oh, yeah, yeah, Plain yeah. Plain oatmeal? Yeah. Oh, yeah. He was, I was putting... So then my voice was hurting. You know, we had a show last night. Or <laughs> yesterday, we were, or two days ago, we were right. in Milwaukee. I'm drinking tea with honey. You did run through about 41 packs. You do. Of course. <laughs> but because... But what was, was that doing for your foot? Oh, it coats it. Yes. Because right, right. I... Because the LA shows, mics were trash. Mm-hmm. We had six... Or I had six shows. You so it was tra- <laughs> Oh, man. <laughs> On stage. You, know, you, you, you kept it together really good because I know you wanted to I burst the flames. I died inside. Yeah. But, um... Yeah. But my... Because my, then what happens, you have six shows, mm-hmm. you have one day off, then we got... Podcasts all day, right. you know. End up, we did a test shoot for the master class. We talk a lot. I end up talking a lot. So I'm like, but I'm eating two fried eggs. I, was and like, yeah. I mean, you know what I want. Mm-hmm. So I'm taking the small. And I told Greg, I said, let me tell you what. <laughs> it is my intention. This is the guy Carter Good on Instagram, and he was talking about basically what you need to do is allow yourself four or five bad meals per week. Let me say about that song. Or, or bad bad items, not full meal. If you want to have a milkshake one day or a donut he says what ends up happening is you take the donut which what i end up doing once the donut hits in my mouth everything's a domino the whole day's gone <laughs> just see because you're like if i had a donut like i'm already here movies, i'm already I'm here. popcorn i might as well have a soda right. if i'm having a soda and popcorn i might as well have two large pizzas I'm not- <laughs> hold on <laughs> Right? <laughs> what did that <laughs> shit win? <laughs> raising that. Oh. <laughs> oh, yeah, we're raising that. You could have you gone with Sour Patch. You could have gone with an Icy. Four pizzas, am I right? You remember after our show in Sacramento? No one was, it was his first weekend on tour, maybe second weekend. Oh. We went to 7 Eleven. This dude bought Gatorade, a soda. Candy and then was like, let me get a large pizza <laughs> from <laughs> 7-Eleven. Like, 7-Eleven. This man they bought it in two minutes. A large pizza. We walk outside. There's a homeless dude. This man like, can I have a slice of pizza? The always like, here's twenty bucks. I can't, <laughs> I can't eat the pizza. I gotta have this though. <laughs> you know what you want? Pizza like four bucks. You want pizza? Here's twenty dollars. <laughs> <laughs> this slice is hot still. I I can't give it up. I can't come up off. I was like, ah, I can't come up off. Take the like, ah, arm, man. I was like, it's pizza, man. <laughs> Wow. <laughs> he wanted a slice of pizza. You gave him twenty dollars. Really well, I thought he would appreciate that more, and I didn't <laughs> want to part with that slice. But this is what I realized. And this, this oh, and you had the ice cream too. Okay, man. Tell about my personal well, the business. The point is, that's what that's. This is let no, 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 let me tell you. Okay. You always well, came over telling me something. Would, that's what I do. Yeah, but let me tell you what happened recently. This is what I'm learning. This is why I think this weight loss competition is so dope because we're learning about how to live our lives. I had went, and because I was doing what Greg was telling you to do, what? I was super strict for like two and a half weeks, right? Mm-hmm. And I was just eating nothing but just kale and just water and just, I was going really, really hard. Yeah. And then I got on the scale and lost like a pound. I was just like, ah! Oh, really? That's why I had that bad week. You did all that? Because I was like, it, the, I was like, and I ate all this out? and I was working out. I didn't lose any weight. Give me the Hawaiian roll sliders. <laughs> Listen, those are fire. That <laughs> And the Hawaiian roll chicken salad. And the salted Harvey. caramel shake there. Yes. So let me tell you what. This is what Carter Good said. I think you should apply this. There's more ways to tell you're having success than what the scale says. There's how you close fit, mm-hmm. how you feel, mm-hmm. how you look, how strong you are. Mm-hmm. Sometimes you know how how easy you're doing push ups. You yes. see me like I can do call outs now. You you go keep strong out here. Yeah, I don't know about that. Right. But there's yeah. a lot more different ways to tell that you're having progress than just a scale. But right. all we care about is a scale. Yeah. And it's just hard. I was 250 right. for like three weeks. I was like, I'm not weighing myself ever again right. because it's just gonna make me feel very much sad. Man. But now when Josh takes pictures, Josh took some of the pictures of us last year. I was like, we well, ain't posting now. Look, <laughs> great now pictures. Slim. But now yesterday's pictures, I was like, okay. But that's why I think that but, it's key to just not. That's why even when people be giving us trash stuff, I'd be like, I don't listen. Because even like with the, trash you know, they be giving us trash about what we eat and drink and everything. Oh, yeah, yeah, That's yeah. what I'm saying. Like, even like when, like, you know, I drink Diet Cokes. 
I got in my feelings, like, man, stop talking. But then it was just like, let me just stop going back and forth with people. This helps me not drink alcohol. I'd rather Which drink a Diet Coke. If you have no Hennessy. other success, that's if I'm you lose the weight loss, days. if you lose the weight loss right. thing, mm-hmm. and you win the sobriety battle, you have won. I've won in life. You won in life. Here's the other thing. It's about having a bad item or a bad meal and then getting back on track or working it into your plan. I'm going to have four or five bad items. Or if you know, okay, look, we're coming to St. Louis today. Mm-hmm. I'm going to have some ribs. We have so those. you know what I'm going to do? Just like you did this morning. I'm going to get up at 6.30. Yeah. Mm-hmm. I'm going to hit the gym because I know I, I know myself. Exactly. I'm not going to not eat the ribs. Mm-hmm. I'm going to eat the ribs. Mm-hmm. I like it. <laughs> <laughs> you got, I think you got to be able to be able to be able to I see the setups now. <laughs> I think you gotta just be able. That's what I'm learning more than anything, and that's why I don't want to do diets. People be like, "You should do this or intermittent fasting." I'm like, "Bro, I don't know." I think I want to here's doing intermittent fasting. Right. I think here's low key slim out here. I ain't gonna lie. He is. He's trying to beat you. Yeah. But what I think for my life, mm-hmm. and and Greg, let me mm-hmm. tell you this. Greg finally admitted. I told Greg, I said, "Man, it's easy for you to say <clears throat> what you shouldn't eat, should and shouldn't eat mm-hmm. when you ain't been on tour." Cause I get he and now he see he told me to write down everything I've eaten mm-hmm. that the Miami weekend mm-hmm. when we had five shows yeah. and every time we got out the show everything was closed yeah. when we went to CVS one night we had you know how hard it is to get dinner at you CVS? bought some cereal I bought some cereal which was fire by the way but I said Greg you know how hard it is to get healthy options at a gas station and I'm not talking about a big, like today or at a Waffle House or at a Waffle House. Ain't got nothing green he was like no nah, Kev you don't be trying and then this weekend he been on tour he was like man Kev you you would have to you would have to map out your your like the way y'all move. And you know what? Now I actually that actually makes more sense because now I'm now I'm less thrown off by what you said to me the other day because now I understand why you took that bet because you knew that I didn't know about what was been happening on tour. You. Okay, that that's makes what sense. I told you. I said don't. So that's what in your mind you're just like he has no idea about the story. This is exactly. an easy lift. If you okay. if we were at home, mm-hmm. we both at home, I probably won't take the bet. Mm-hmm. If I'm on tour, you're at home, mm-hmm. I don't take the bet. Mm-hmm. We're both on tour because me and John. I was we like, did this last because last year I was, was like, like I'm gonna work. Yeah, I'm, I'm gonna work out. Mm-hmm. I'm gonna I'm gonna do this and that. As soon as I get to the city, I'm going straight to the gym, bro. There's barely enough energy to do exactly what we already did. A five, maybe five and a half hour drive today, including mm-hmm. the stops. What time do you have if you don't work? About, wait, and we're it? we're zooming through this and. Soon as we press stop on the camera, we have to be over. Well, even when we got here, we're like, oh, we're hungry now. Yeah, we need to eat something. Yes. yes. So that's what I was banking on. I was right. like, this dude doesn't know how. Yeah, that actually makes more sense because when we were talking the other day, and you were talking, I was like, man, you really motivated me by saying that because I thought that you wasn't believing in me, but you just knew that I didn't know what no, I was about to run into. I just know how hard it is to be. It's hard for me to be. It's actually easier for me to be disciplined, much easier at home. Right. Because you have. You have your your grocery store. Back That's back when we was getting up in the morning and going to twenty four hours. At exactly. Five in the morning. Every morning. Yeah. The best times I've ever had a lot losing weight has been when I didn't have the the, 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 the one time I lost like two thousand eleven. I had no YouTube. My kids weren't in sports. I mean, I had nothing but church and work. So and I went to. I mean, I ate the same thing every single day. Worked out at the same time. I never traveled. You're like you know how many times I get home on, on Monday when we get back. Uh-huh. I, Next, let me tell y'all real quick. We're actually How much time do we have left? Uh, what time we want to wrap up? We need to leave by 5 30, really. Okay. But, okay. But, but so, so, so like, we got like okay. five minutes left. Okay. So, just this is just the next three weeks, four weeks. <laughs> Cooked. Okay? Of trying to eat right and live right. We've had four shows this weekend. Mm-hmm. We get home on Monday, Memorial Day. I don't even. I keep doesn't, even does, doesn't even feel like it. Mm-hmm. Monday, we have a rest day. Tuesday, we have podcast shoots right. all day. Mm-hmm. Love our rights and ratchet staff meeting, all that. Wednesday, um, I got a whole bunch of meetings. We don't leave Wednesday. Right. Thursday, we go to Denver. Mm-hmm. Show Denver. Early. Friday, we fly to Oakland. Mm-hmm. Show that night. Saturday, another show in Oakland. Mm-hmm. Sunday, we fly to Seattle. Mm-hmm. Two shows there. Monday, we fly to uh, Canada. To Edmonton, Canada. Come back on Tuesday. Shoot Ratchet and Ratchet again. Oh. Wednesday, Thursday, off. I got meetings those days. Friday, my son graduates from fifth grade. Melissa's mom's in town. Thursday, Friday, 
Saturday, I fly to Mexico for my friend's 40th birthday. In Mexico, Saturday, Sunday, Monday, Tuesday, Wednesday, Thursday. But you missed you missed the big day. That Thursday is my birthday. Ah, Josh's birthday. What are you doing on your birthday? Yeah, no, you just probably Should we not have dinner or something? Nah, 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 man. This this is well, we should have no, a no, date. No, no, man. Nah, it's, it's, I don't I don't like crazy things for my birthday, guys. It's fine. I just, no, but the the Dodger game. No, 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 that's fine. Like no, 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 it's okay. All right, okay. so Mexico. Friday, uh -huh. or Saturday, fly to Mexico, those four days. Friday, Thursday after Mexico, fly to Atlanta. Then you guys will meet us in Atlanta. We have Atlanta Friday, Saturday. Memphis Sunday. Jeez. Fly to New York Monday. Ugh. We got New York Monday, Tuesday, Wednesday off. I got meeting. While we're in New York? Yes. But we have it off? We got meetings. Three, day, three, we days, got meetings off. We three days off in New York? Three days off in New York. Summer, oh, summer, summertime in New York. Mind you. We're going to Brooklyn, son. You should go to Statue of Liberty. Okay. You should absolutely go to Statue of Liberty. I'm down. It's amazing. Okay. It's a good Thursday time. show in Bridgeport. Friday show in Newark. Saturday show in Brooklyn. Sunday, two shows in Boston. Jesus. Then finally come back to LA on June. Monday, June 24th. Three days off there, then we go to Boston, I think. Mind you, just just to reiterate, from June eighth to June twenty fourth, we are not in LA. Not even one day. Like not That's one why day. I'm not expecting to lose. I don't expect myself to have the discipline to get down to two hundred and fifteen pounds in August. I'm gonna barely be, oh, oh, barely keeping up. See what you do. This is friend to friend. You set unrealistic goals with unrealistic expectations of how much work it goes in to get those. You absolutely, and this is what I told you, you could have lost 50 pounds, but it would have meant your whole life would have been focused on doing that. Those people on Biggest you like this dude did it on Biggest Loser, they don't do, first of all, they're getting paid, and they have nothing else but that to do. And they're in and that, they're and they're in that uh, concentrated shooting environment. Was, yes, I know you didn't, that's why I took the bet. I was like, this is... Save me for myself no, sometimes. I wanted, I wanted to teach you a lesson. Like, let me teach you a lesson. You know, let me just believe what a fool believes? I told you. I was like, do you... And I told you before we did that bet. You tried not to bet me. I said, do like, We're going to be on tour. It's... Oh, shut up, man. Bet me. You're going to be on tour. It's hard to be disciplined on tour. It's insane. Just the... You know how hard it is to not eat right? Greg was finally like, man... Cause he was like, you eating so much cereal? I'm like, dude, it's Raisin Bran Crunch in almond milk from CVS or Waffle House or Rallies. That's literally the only three really? options. I just be feeling like there's nothing, like I can't do nothing right food wise. It's tough. Everybody it's got hard. something. So I'd be like, well, I'm gonna just get some wings because it's just no cost. It's, it's, a sac it's a sacrifice in itself. Man. Everybody has something to say. I mean, you some avocado toast. There's carbs. Like, there's, what do you want me to do? <laughs> I can't win. And then, yeah. and then you get to the hotel late Dude. night and try to eat healthy last night and you get trash oh, options. Was awful. And I tried. I had a salad. Oh. I got some salmon. They made it in the microwave. <laughs> well, that hotel that, salmon was. I oh. ordered that salmon for room oh. service. I was like, so y'all don't have some popcorn. Y'all don't have a granule of salt in the hotel. <laughs> I mean, like y'all just. It was salmon, broccoli, and some sweet potatoes that just looked like somebody chopped it up, put it in the oven, and put it in that plastic potato. With nothing else, no, no season. 10 to 11 kids. And you, there's Chicago pizza across the street from the hotel. I, I didn't eat Harold's. And Harold was too. I was I really proud of you about that. Because Harold was too. After was you ate that, you, you were room. talking about it since the last trip. Once you picked that salad, I was like, for sure you're going to eat the Harold's now. Because it was. I didn't know. All right, we okay. got to go. This is the tour manager. Hello, Aaron. Uh, is there a car here? Is, is there a car here for us or we need an Uber? Okay. Well, why do you need us to come now? Uh, all right, we're about to leave in a second. We're, I'm about to walk them back to my room. Sorry, Ratchets. All right, all right, all right, all right. All right, we gotta go to the Ratchets in the truck. Then I told you. Right, I told you. We'll talk. Okay, sorry. <laughs> for, uh, okay, guys, thank you for tuning in to another episode. We appreciate you. Sorry we go all over the place, but, you know, it's kind of how it goes. It's kind of how it goes. And we got, we came in, we did an hour. Is it an hour? We love you. 50, 40 ish. Uh, Give we did take. the best we could. Cool, cool. We got uh, but we got to get to the show. We love y'all. We'll see y'all on Wednesday, if not before. God bless.